This is the Habit Tracker 2.0. This Habit Tracker comes with a lot of features and today I'm going to teach you how to use each and every one. Right after you purchase your Colored Habit Tracker 2.0, you'll get an email with a link to the View Only Habit Tracker 2.0 sheet. To use the Habit Tracker, you need to click on File and hit Make a Copy. I'm going to name my Colored Habit Tracker and hit OK. Now I have a habit tracker that I can edit. The first thing I want to do is add my habits. So I'll click on add habit here and add my habits. Now that I've added my habits, I want to delete the rest. So I'll select them all and hit delete. We'll assume today is January 1st. So I'll click the first cell, and since I exercised today, I'll color it green for good job. If I didn't exercise, I'd color it red for didn't do it today. If I exercised, but not for one hour, I would color it yellow, didn't reach daily quota. Now I want to update my habit tracker so I'll click on the checkbox in the upper left corner. Then I'll be able to see how many good jobs didn't reach daily quotas and didn't do it today's in this table. Now I've randomly colored in the cells, so I'll update my tracker. Then scroll over here to the January habit score chart. Here, I can see how many days I've exercised, how many I didn't, and how many days I didn't reach my daily quota. And I can see that for all of my habits. Underneath the January habit score chart, I can choose a habit, for example, meditate for 20 minutes, and see how well I did on that habit alone without the clutter. In the Habit Score tab, I can see a summary of how well I did throughout the year. In order to see this tab, I'll have to zoom out to about 50%. Now I can see my A Year of Happening chart. Right now it's empty. To see data in the A Year of Happening chart, I'll click on the drop down menu here and choose a habit. I've added the data in the first four months, January, February, March, and April. So in the Habit Score tab, I can see the data of all of those months together to see how well I progressed. Underneath the Year of Happening chart, I can see the charts for every month all in one place. If you want to change the colors you use in your habit tracker, simply click on the colored cell in the table and change its color. It's important to use the exact same color when coloring in the cells for your daily habits. Do that for each of the colored cells in the table. Here's a tip to speed up the performance of your habit tracker. I know I will never need more than 20 habits, so I'll select all of the zeros underneath 20 and delete them. That way, my habit tracker will load faster. 